Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today is something different. Uh, I was driving, actually I was driving through my alley uh, to go to the store and I found this lawnmower. Uh, looks pretty good. <clears throat> it's got a bag and everything. What is it? It's a craftsman. And yeah, it came with the bag. You can see it laying on the floor there. I was like, why the hell somebody would throw the lawnmower pred so it doesn't work. So here I brought it home, I changed the spark plugs <clears throat> and the clutch cable was all broken and was just laying on the side. <clears throat> so I was like, well, that can't be too, too hard to fix it. Didn't feel like going out again to the store to get a clamp to make this cable. <clears throat> tight so what I did I used the bolt and a nut I pulled the cable I still have to trim all those pieces here hanging out but I pulled it long enough tightened it the bolt so it doesn't move and it's nice and hard then I drilled a new hole a little shorter so this thing can go and <clears throat> I got it to work and let's try it out so the clutch is engaged I'm gonna put the camera on here because it's hard to pull it with one hand holding the camera and the clutch. So. Yeah, I got a good working lawnmower. Uh, I already have one, but uh, that would be good to use for my uh, lawn care business that I run in the summer and spring. So yeah, for all of you that have a clutch cable that is broken, instead of paying 20 bucks for a new one, you can, like I said, this needs to be all trimmed up, but just use the bolt with the nut on it, try to tie it around the back here, and then tie the bolt. You might have to move the, uh, the clutch lever a little bit lower, so it pulls nice and smooth. But this is a DIY, Lawnmower clutch cable fix. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.